Beauty Soaps and I'm going to get started today on a really pretty soap I just piped some roses for and I was debating on what fragrance I was going to do it rose and then I thought oh rose hates me and it seizes immediately so I'm not going to do it in rose I'm going to do this one in fresh picked watermelon from crafter's choice so it's a summery scent I'm going to call it watermelon rose so I'll show you one of the roses now I'm not a, a pro at piping but I did a bunch of these little roses and so those are going to go on top uh, I'm doing it in an 18 bar mold and not quite as high of a soap as some of my other ones probably about half as high but these are going to go into my subscription boxes and grab bags. So those have been going really well. Um, if you haven't signed up for a subscription box, now's a good time to do it because I have 10% off anything over $50 in my Etsy shop. So I'll link you in the box below. So you could save 10% on a subscription box. I have three or six month subscription boxes. So that's a, a good deal right now. So anyway, we'll get started, and uh, I'm not like overly organized here with what I got going on, so I hope I remember to do everything. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get going. Now I'm going to get this mixed, and then I'm going to pour half off, because I'm doing two different colored layers today. I'm going to try and replicate the color of the roses on the bottom. Uh, for that, I used, from Mad Micah's, I used Flirt. And I put in some uh, Lavish Lavender from Nurture Soap. I kind of blended those two together to get that rose color. And it's kind of a, it is kind of a watermelony type of color. So, we're going to give it a shot. Nothing like overly fancy here. Let me, uh, I'm going to pour this off in here. kind of eyeballing about half or so Oop, about there and take the towel so this is going to be on the bottom and let me pour off just a tiny bit more just a tiny bit of this uh, maybe I'll do it out of this batch because I will be doing a little piping of leaves so I'm going to pour that off I'm not going to worry about fragrancing the leaves so this since it's going on the bottom I'm going to put in Said I'm not very organized. I'm just going to stir this in by hand. Um, about this much. And then just a little bit of the purple. Like so. That's it. We're going to hand stir that with oh where's my other mm, well i guess i'll use this big honkin one i didn't want to use this one but well we use this one i use this one we'll get this mixed in and then we'll hand stir in our fragrance
It's darn cold. We're going to be going on a vacation next month for a couple weeks. Um, so I'm going to put a notice on my Etsy shop that shipping will be delayed. I'm going to keep it open, but shipping, we won't be shipping until the beginning of April. Oh, this is pretty. I actually like this color. So those of you who have subscription boxes, and they normally ship out the end of the month. The one that ships out the end of March normally will be delayed until the beginning of April. So that's a pretty berry color. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to pour in half of this roughly, roughly. Love this color. I just got a bunch of fragrances also from um, Voyager Soap and Candle. They're here in Canada. They're out in British Columbia. And they're all vanillin free. And I'm going to be doing some fun summer soaps with those. I have a uh, blue raspberry. They all smell fantastic also, by the way. But I have blue raspberry, cool citrus basil. Uh, Charleston sweet tea and let me tell you that smells like iced tea it's wonderful I hope it holds up in soap uh, then I have black raspberry vanilla and strawberry and it's a vanillin free strawberry I got it in so we'll be doing a strawberry soap as well so I'm excited about that okay so, I think this is stirred pretty good. Ta -ta -ta. Isn't that a beautiful color? Okay, so we're going to pour this in. This is our bottom layer. Love that color. Love it. And I think it'll be beautiful with those roses. Actually, it's not the exact same color, but it's a very coordinating color. Okay, so there's that. Now, um, I'm just going to take a little bit of my NV from Mad Micah's, and I'm putting it in my my um, little bit that I poured off to do piping. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, stir that in here and just let that sit. These are going to be my leaves on the top. Very pretty color. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so I'm going to let that sit. Just wipe my spoon off here. And we'll set that off to the side. Okay, so this part here I'm going to pretty much leave natural but I am putting in some super sparkle white diamonds mica from crafters choice and so we'll just put a, a spoonful of that in just a spoonful that's enough and actually, I'm going to hand stir this as well when I pour the fragrance in. So we'll just clean this off like so. Set that over there. And oh, there you are. Now I'll use my big honking. Uh, Bachelor. I, don't, I have another one. I don't know where it's at right now. Anyway, just kind of burying my mica. Okay, I'll pour the rest of my fragrance in. 
Let's see. Hopefully I can get this spooned onto the top of the um, purpley pink color, watermelony color. But I want to make sure it's nice and mixed here. And I may need to let it thicken a little bit just because actually I wonder if I should stir this with the stick blender just to thicken it up. I think I will. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We'll just set that there. That's fine. Grab this. You never know when your plans are going to change. Let me put my glasses back on. Anyway. That's good. Okie dokie. Da -da -da. Oh, smells really good. I love this watermelon fragrance. Okay, so there's that. Now, I will bring this back over where you can see it. And... I'm going to try and gently layer this on top. I don't want to break through if I can help it. And I'll just come back this way. And I will tamp this down just to get it to even out once I have all of the soap in here. I'm just trying to cover up as best I can. Okay, I think we're good now. love to make soap. Those of you who are soap makers, I'm sure you talk to your soap, you sing to your soap, or you have the music going in the background. I can't do that here because they'll ding me. But um, anyway, I, I enjoy it. It's very therapeutic and uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to Put my bowl off here to the side and just try and evenly spread this over the top and then we're going to bang it down and just kind of even things out a bit. Just trying to get all my soap off my spatula. Okay. Oh, made a mess. Made a mess. Made a mess. Alright, put my glasses back on and then I'm going to bang it down on the floor here. I have the chair in the way. There we go. Alright. So, there's that, and now I'm going to put my dividers in, because that way I know where to put my roses and do my piping. And we're going to check on this, 
So this has really got a ways to go. before it's thick enough to pipe. But I can place my roses in the meantime. So, I have several roses and as I knock my empty jugs over, uh, some are prettier than others. But we're gonna get, I just did these earlier today. Um, but yeah, they're good enough to place. And I'm just going to put them on one side. Like so. Uh, let's see which one's prettier. Like so. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. So cute. They're not perfect, but you know what? Roses in nature are not perfect either. So, so there. Some are a little bigger than others. Uh, after I piped these, I did sprinkle them with some uh, gold uh, glitter mica. So, I think they look really cute. Some have a little more gold than others. And I'm just kind of lightly touching them into the uh, top of the soap, like so. Da -da -da. Oh, these are going to be so pretty. I'm not sure what month these ones will go out, as far as my... Uh, subscription boxes, but they will be in one of them, either in uh, May or June, probably. Um, so I also wanted to mention, if you bought a subscription box in December, uh, this is the last one for you going out this month. So if you want to keep them going um, after the end of the month, I would order another subscription. Like I said, now I have six months as well. When you order six months, you actually save money. So just keep that in mind. So. Ooh, isn't that pretty? I think we'll put another little one on. Like so. Oops. It's okay. We'll cover that up with piping. Um, we'll put a big one on. My piping skills, uh, they aren't perfect, but they are getting better as far as flowers. So I just have to do more practicing. So there's those. I do have, what do I have here? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I might have to make some cupcake soaps or something since I have some left over. Trying to tidy up here. And I think we're going to have to wait a little bit, come back, and we'll pipe our leaves with this. And then I'm going to hit it with some iridescent super sparkle glitter. So, yes, this is a glittery soap today. I love glitter. Everybody knows I love glitter. Oh my goodness. And I can't wait to take these out of the mold and see that color underneath. That's going to be fun. So anyway, this has a ways to wait. I'm going to uh, pause the video for me. I'm going to come back when this is ready to pipe. And we'll do our leaves. So I'll be right back. All right, so while I'm still waiting... <laughs> I came up with this idea and I had thought about doing it and then I forgot to do it while I was prepping. I'm going to put a little bit. I got some sweet, al sweet almond oil and some of my uh, Sparkle Light Gold Mica from Crafter's Choice. And I'm going to put a little bit 
just a, a drop on each side or on the one end, sorry, like a little puddle. And you'll see what I'm going to do. Some of these I think I'm putting a little too close to the edge, but I'm hoping it'll look cute. And I'm going to take my little stick here and kind of do a little swirl. Through the soap just to kind of jazz it up a little I always like to have the glitter and glitz like so Okay, so that just gives it a little extra something something to go on to the top. And you can see we're still not ready to pipe. So we'll be back and I uh, wonder if I should. Yeah, maybe get in the middle of these roses. That's kind of pretty. Because they're not done saponifying yet, so that oil should really absorb a bit into, I'm not putting a ton in, just enough to kind of highlight the middle of the rose. Get this one a little bit more. There. Anyway. Cutesy, cutesy. Okay, I'll stop. Honest. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Now we'll be back to do our piping when that green sets up. So I will put you on pause again. Okay, so we're back. And it's my piping's not like super thick, but I'm kind of on a time crunch. I didn't realize the day got away from me and I have to go make dinner. So I'm going to make it work. Um, now I'm going to turn this around this way because I'm going to pipe my leaves like this. And uh, so I need to have it, uh, there we go, uh, closer to me on this side. So I'm going to I just have a little bit of like that. Like I said, it's really runny, but it's still, I think, going to be really pretty. And I am going to put this in my refrigerator just because I started thinking about it and I'm hoping that the soap doesn't heat up too much and melt my roses. Okay, so these ones, these leaves aren't doing too good. Go like that. Those ones are better. I should have done that with the first ones. Now I know next time. 
I still have, I'm going to do three here. Oh, I think they're pretty. Come on. It's kind of awkward doing uh whoop, doing the ones closest to me. So anyway, I'm gonna put this in the fridge because I don't want the soap underneath to heat up too much and kind of melt my roses on top. I don't know if it would, but I'm not going to take any chances. So now we're going to hit it with some super sparkle glitter. Just on the half with the leaves, I think. Love to hit it with the glitter. Oh, this is so pretty. Maybe I'll put some on the roses too. What the heck? Why not, right? Why not? So we'll come back and we'll just give it a little pinch on the roses. Okay. There we go. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get this out of the mold, you guys. So, there we go. This is uh, our, uh, let me zoom in here, our watermelon rose. And we'll be right back to uh, pop it out of the mold. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. I can't wait to see what's underneath. Anyway, we'll be back to pop it out of the mold. Hi guys, uh, Kathy here, and we're back to unmold my watermelon rose. Uh, I'm going to show you, I think I'll be able to unmold this just by removing the bars. But some of you in the past have asked me to show how I remove them when they're not wanting to come out. So I'm going to try and show you here. I'm just breaking the seal so I can get this. Oh, see, this is, they're coming out super easy. But I will show you what I do is stand my mold up on edge. And I've got this this wire um, strung between two, uh, you can use skewers or these little sticks like this. And I have a wire strung between the two. And what I do is I go down every side, like so, and across, and back up till it comes out. And then I slide the bar out. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? But these are, uh, these are still a little soft. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take them out uh, carefully somehow. Now that I've got it tipped up on edge. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to flip this upside down. And like so, on top of my silicone part. So if if they come out easy, what you do is just pull the uh, pull the dividers out. And now that my hands are a little soapy, <laughs> it's hard to get them out. But if your soap is soft enough, they should come out. Now watch, I say that and they're not coming out but anyway isn't that beautiful look at that color 
underneath. So pretty. Um, going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to take these end slices off. And I'm just kind of pushing up from the bottom. You don't want to pull them out because then you'll tear your soap. But isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to push up from the bottom again. Like so. So pretty. Now these I did put in the refrigerator overnight to uh, make sure that my roses wouldn't melt. And uh, anyway, I took them out this morning a few hours ago. So pretty. And I'm going to try something with one of them. I'm not sure I'm going to do it with all of them. But I had an idea. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to do it now because I have more white on the top of some of these. So I don't think I'll... I was thinking of putting, cutting out around the edge. Almost like a bevel to get down to the pink. But, but the pink is... Uh, too far down. Anyway, I'll, I'll do the rest of these later, but uh, I'll set this up here, give you a close-up of these beautiful bars. They turned out just gorgeous. And uh, anyway, uh, I'm glad you watched. I'm going to finish unmolding the rest of these. You don't need to watch me do that, but uh, we'll come down here again. For a close-up view, look at that beautiful pink underneath. And uh, that is our watermelon rose. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate all of you tuning in. I'm going to be uh, trimming these up a little more once they harden up some more. Uh, but until uh, next time, thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next video. Follow me over on Instagram at Dirty Booty Soaps and over on our Facebook page, Dirty Booty Soaps. Bye for now.